All right. So finding comfortable position and close your eyes. So I used to say clear your mind. And while that sounds wonderful, it's not really possible to clear your mind. So I'm going to say redirect your mind. So close your eyes. Begin to breathe a little deeper. And if you can, through just your nostrils. See if you can fill the lungs with air. And then take your mind and think about your breath. Connect yourself to your breath. And then thoughts and distractions will try to sneak in. And when they do, just let them go. Focus on you. And then let the eyes begin to open and let's start as we always do by just moving any way you like. And let's take our fingertips, reach them out. Turn the palms up, let's inhale, let's reach out. Reach up, look up if you want to, nice and tall. And when you're ready to exhale, let's turn and take a nice twist here. So deep, deep breath. And on your next inhalation, let's reach out, reach up, look up if you want. And when you exhale, let's go the other direction. Take deep, deep breaths. And then let's inhale, let's reach out, reach up, look up if you want. And when you're ready, exhale and let's let the arms come down and let's roll out the head, neck, and shoulder. All right, let's come to our tabletop position and take the cat and cows. And actually, before before we come to cat and cows, let's take our hips and just circle, make a circle. So maybe your circle is going to be small here. Maybe you're going to move a little bigger. Just make it your own. Just feel it for yourself. Take nice deep breaths. And then let's take it the other direction. And then let's transition right into those cat and cow. So rounding and sinking. Oh, I just let it feel so good here. Try to exaggerate those movements. Deep 
And then let's take one more time. Each direction. Whenever you're done. Keep sitting back. Let the body sink down. So if you can, instead of here, try to get your arms, elbows up. Try to really extend those arms. And whenever you're ready, let's press up to the downward facing dog. So curl your toes under, push in. And if you want, of course, move the legs. If you want, extend. Head if you want. Take deep breaths. So don't rush. Take your time. When you're ready, let's walk our feet right up to the hands. And maybe you want to use a block or something to put your hands on. Maybe try to lean a little bit more into the toes rather than Something like that. And then let's bend the knees a little bit. Let's inhale. Let's reach out and reach up. Bring the palms together. And the hands to heart. Right. So let's take a couple standing poses. I'm going to turn my mat to face you guys this, this time tonight. And we're going to do Warrior One and Pyramid. So you might want for your pyramid, your block. Not that you need it, just if you want. It's there if you want. So Warrior One, we want to take our hips, hip space the front of the mat. So let's take the right foot back and let's bend the left knee. If you look down, you see your big toe, you're hiding your pinky toe. And then reach up, look up if you want. Maybe interlace those fingers. Take deep breaths. If you want to work harder, you know what to do. Deeper in. See so if you can hear your breath. So when you get to your next exhalation, let's take a side bend. And next inhalation, come back to center. And next exhalation, just take a side bend to the other side. And then let's inhale, center, straighten up the front leg. Both legs are straight. And let's fold into our pyramid pose. So maybe you're going to use your block or whatever you have. Maybe not. Maybe hands are on the mat. Try to roll your thighs up and try to lift up this kneecap right here. Take deep, deep breaths. All right, let's inhale, start to come up, bend your front knee. Let's either reach back up to warrior one, or if you want, come down to a high runner's lunge. Either way, whatever's, whatever's best for you tonight. 
deep breaths. All right, wherever you are, let's bring that right foot in to meet the left. And then let's inhale, reach out, reach it up, palms together, hands to heart. Ooh, all right, let's take our feet nice and wide so your hips are facing front. And we're going to take our left foot back and then bend the right knee. And so again, if you want to go, want to work more, bend more. Reach up when you're ready. Look up if you want, interlace if you want. And take nice deep breaths, warrior one. When you get to your next exhalation, let's take a side bend. And then let's inhale center and exhale other side. And then let's inhale, center, straighten up the front leg, and let's exhale and fold into pyramid pose. See if you can roll the thighs open, see if you can lift up this kneecap. Steep breath. All right, and then let's inhale, coming up, to, if you want, up to warrior one, if you want, coming down to high runner's lunge, whatever you'd like. Let's bring that left foot in to meet the right. And let's inhale, reach out, reach up. Palms together. Hands to heart. Ooh, and let the arms come down. Roll out the head and shoulders. All right, so tonight, Let's do a little balance. So let's do our tree pose. So tree pose, you can be anywhere, be all the way up here, just not your heel in your knee. That's all. So big toes together, heels slightly apart. Find your focal point. And then let's bend the knee. Up to the side, maybe up. And then maybe arms overhead. And let's hold this for five breaths. Whenever you get to that last exhalation, arms come down. Maybe the leg is going to come out and down. Shake out this leg. 
Cool. All right. So let's take it to the other side. So you've got your mountain pose. You're finding your focal point. You're bending your left knee out to the side and then decide where you'd like to be. Maybe arms up. Five breaths. We can get to the last exhalation. Extend it out. And shake out those legs. Ooh, all right. Good. So let's move on to our back bends. We're going to do two today. We're going to do camel and bridge. So, camel, you can stand. Knee back. You can kneel. Lean back. The most important thing here is this hip bone stays right over the knee. So you would not want to do something like that. So keeping this in alignment. So wherever you are, you're about hip width apart. Hands are just resting on the low back. Inhale tall. Exhale, start to lean back at your elbows to move towards each other. Maybe your head is going to come back. Maybe it's not. You guys kneeling? Maybe, as long as you can keep the hip over the knee, maybe you can reach back for your heels. And maybe not. Let's deep, deep breath. Let's inhale, come up, and if you're kneeling, take the child's pose. If you're standing, you could also do that, or if you want, bend your knees. And it's sort of a standing child's pose if you'd like to do that instead. Go ahead. Just relax. Nice deep, deep breaths. All right, and take your time. We're going to come down to our back. We're going to take another back bend. It's going to be bridge pose. So take your time. Get to your back when you're ready. So tonight's option on bridge pose, if you want, once you press up, possibly lifting up your heels, working your calf muscles a little more. So when you're there, arms are alongside of you, your feet nice and close, hip width apart, not together. Push into those feet, lift the hips up. Maybe tucking your shoulders under. Possibly lifting up the heels if you want. And take deep, deep breaths here. And then if your heels are up, come 
come down. Start to untuck the shoulders and then just slowly roll down. Bring the feet a little wider and just lift the way. Relax. And then moving any way that you like. All right, so let's stretch out our hips a little if you want. Take the bottoms of the feet together right here. If you want, take the bottoms of the feet together right here. And if you don't like either of those choices, go ahead and sit and put the bottoms of the feet together here. Whatever you would like to do. Take deep, deep breaths wherever you are. All right, wherever you are, take those legs out, extend them out. Shake them out a little bit. Come to seated if you're laying down, but take your time. Ooh, we're gonna do a little twisting, um, a little bit of hip flexor right here, the top of the thigh. And then we'll um, do some upper, get some upper body. All right, so let's start by Bending the right to the inside and the left to the outside. And then let's put our right hand on the mat, left hand on the hip. When you inhale, come up, turn so your body faces the right. And then when you exhale, come back. Just take nice deep breaths. So inhale, turning. And exhale, coming back. And then let's go one more time. And when you come back, stay right here. So now let's work right here, the top of this thigh. So if you want, this leg can stay right where it is or you can extend it out. I'm just gonna turn, but you don't need to turn. Stay where you are. And then we're going to bring our hands back, lean back, so you should feel something in here. If you don't, then you're going to go down, maybe one elbow, maybe both. So you should feel it in there. You no, know, if you don't feel it yet, you could lay down. Just don't let this happen. Don't let your knee come up. Then you went too far. So deep breath. All right, let's come up. Let's take the legs out. Shake them out a little bit. So now let's bend the left one in and the right one out. Left hand down, right hand on hip. Inhale, come up and turn. And the next hand. 
coming back. So inhale, coming up and turn. Coming back and just keep going. It's deep, deep breath. One more time. So this leg can stay like this if you want, or it can extend. And then let's come back maybe to your hands. Maybe to your elbow or both, and just feel a stretch right in here, right in your hip flexor, top of the thigh. If you sit a lot, if you're in your car a lot, I guess no one's in their car a lot these days, I don't know. But definitely, this will get tight from sitting. And let's come up. Let's take the legs out, shake them out a little bit. So let's finish this off with just a forward fold if you want to use your strap. Go ahead, so inhale tall. Exhale, folding forward. Strap if you'd like. Nice deep breaths. All right, let's come up. Release. Shake out those legs. So let's get some upper body. Let's work on our upper body. So you're sitting any way that you want. Any way you're comfortable. So let's take right arm out. Slide it in front. Left arm under. Bend, maybe recross those hands if you can. If you can't recross, stay here. It's okay, you're just tight. Relax your shoulder. And then let's inhale, let the elbows come up. And exhale, bring them down. Just take deep, deep breaths. All right, now maybe you're going to take like a sideways figure eight with your elbows. Try not to move your body, which should feel so good. Feel your shoulders and your back. And then let's release. The arms come down, roll out the hip and shoulder. Let's take the other arm out, slide it across, coming under, 
spin, recross if you can. Inhale, elbows up. And exhale, bring them down. Deep breaths. All right, start to make that side. Way to stick your feet. And then let the arms come down. Roll out the head, neck, and shoulders. All right, so one last thing for the upper body for the chest. So this is going to depend on what you have to work with. So if you happen to have a yoga block, it's going to be the one behind the back. So the, uh, the block goes about bra strap and upwards, and you're laying down. Your head touches back, and your arms open wide. So it stretches out the chest and the shoulders. Always a good one. Now, if you don't have a block, Grab your strap or whatever it is that you're going to use, your towel, your sweatshirt, your tie. And we're just going to do pretty much the same thing with just letting the arms extend back. And open. So grab whatever it is that you have for this. And when you're ready, open up the chest. And let's take five breaths here. Right, and then if you've got the strap, release it. If you're on your block, bend your knees, bring your arms in, roll to one side, remove your block, move any way you want. Right. So let's take our inversion next. So if you have that block, you can always come up on your block and use your strap. If you happen to have a wall, like I have a nice open wall there, you could always do legs up the wall. We don't do legs up in the wall in the senior center because there's really not any open, much open available space. But let me show it to you just in case you should happen to have a wall. So you're coming right up to the wall in like a fetal position, as close to the wall as you could be. And then you just turn and slide the legs right up the wall. So up to you if you want, that's always a good option. So deep breaths. The hardest part, doing this without a lot of thinking. Focusing on your breath. The body. Thank you. 
I like this one's a little gentle a little more on the gentle side arms are going to come out feet are together lift your hips up off your mat move them all the way to the left side of your mat let your knees come in and over to the right you can cross if you want and if you want to turn your head the opposite direction Just relax. Right, 
Legs look up. Run across. And then if you want, lift your hips, move them over to the right side. Bring the knees in and over to the left. Start to uncross and roll and begin to find that comfortable position. And let your breath. And allow your body to sink into your head. Allow your arms and legs to feel heavy. And even if they wanted to move, it would be tough. Try to soften your face. Let your eyes sink back. See if you can really let everything go. Let this time be just for you, nothing else. And let nothing disturb your peace. Thank you. 
And then very slowly, start to bring your awareness back to the room. Take your time coming up whenever you're ready. And thank you guys for signing in tonight. Namaste. Everybody have a good night.